Bank Academy. Today, we want to draw that um, figure you're seeing um, under isometric. So, if I'm told to draw that figure, how do I start? For every isometric, the first task to do is to what? Draw out your inclined 30 degree. So, my first task here is to draw horizontal line this way. Horizontal line this way. As you can see, right? So, my next task is to take my set square, this one. I will take it this way. I'll draw an inclined 30 degree, right? This way. And also, draw out an other 30 degree, this way. Now, my next task is that I will need to observe that isometric. I need to observe um, my length, my breadth, and the height. So, if you look closely, as you can see my arrow indicating, the length of um, that isometric is given to be 80, right? So, measure out 80 with my meter arrow, right? So, from here to here is 80. As you can see, here is my 80. That's my length. My breadth is given to be what? That's like 40. As you can see, 30 plus 10 is 40. So from this point here to this point here is 40. Right? From this point here to this point is 40. So I've gotten my length and my breadth. So I need to get my height. If you observe closely, the height of that figure is going to be 30 plus 25. As you can see, my arrow indicating. 30 and then 25 is the height there. So if I add them together, I'll have 55. So I will take my T square to the center at this point here and draw a particular line upward. Right? Draw this upward this way and measure what 55 as we said earlier. 55. So from this point here to this point is 55. Right? So I've gotten three points right i've gotten my out i've gotten my three points so what's my next task now my next task is what is to produce out a box this is my length this is my breadth and this is my height so i will extend this point here upward right i'll come to the other point here extend it upward as you can see similarly you take this to close it up to touch that line you have drawn initially this one here see it's not touching to so make it touch together so it's touch this way I have this right I have this next tax take it this way so connect this point here to this right similarly take it this way draw it down down this way I have this similarly I will close it up from at this point to this now, what do you observe? With the dimension of that isometric, I produce out what? A box with it. Now, let me ignore this line. I don't need them. So, alright, here is my box. Now, every isometric is gotten out from what? From a box. So, that isometric you are seeing beside you, at the right corner, as sign of the, of the screen, was gotten out from this box. So, what do I do now? My first task is what? Take the procedure one after the other. From this point, this point is that point you are seeing my arrow indicating. From this point, there is a distance of what? 60 downward. So I'll measure 60 from this point here. Measure 60 downward. And it is ticking, right? So 60 from this point to this point. It's ticking it. That's 60. Right? There's an height of 30. So measure 30 from this point here. Right? to this point is 30 taking it downward it is ticking right what's my next tax if you observe that there's a line that closes this up so i'll take this set square this way at this point this way i will draw it down with the faint line similarly i'll take it this way i will draw a thick line to close it up right similarly i'll take it this way and i will close it up so i have this right I have this. What is my next tax here? If you observe closely, there's a line going through this place this way. Right? So I'll take my set square this way. 
at this point I will draw a faint line right faint line this way and at the other point here I will draw a faint line upward it from distance from here to here is going to be 30 so I will measure out 30 from this point from here to this point is 30 so here's my 30 to this point is 30 I will take it is taking I'll take in mine right what my next task it simply means since that is 30 I will take this man here at this point I will extend it upward similarly at this point here I will close it up this way what I'm just doing is what I'm doing copy and paste what I'm seeing the other corner of the screen that's what I'm replicating right so my next task here is that I haven't considered this I will extend this place downward this point here I will take it downward this way right with a thick line this way so at this point here where they meet at this point I will take it upward right so I'll take it upward so here's the, here's, the, here's the idea I will make sure take this point here downward this point too take it down with a faint line right so at this point here you will not draw it to touch the thick faint line you have drawn up consider that so you close this part up so close this up so i have this right i have this so next up i will close this part up too at this point take it down this way so and i will close it up with my metal root so i have this as you can see we are getting close right so and i will close up this part here too so i have this so here's what I have here. Next up, I need to continue. How do I go about it? We said from this point to this point is 30. As you can see, there is an inward line of what? 20. So I'll take my T square this way. At this point, I will draw a faint line this way. And I'll measure out 20. So 20 from this point here to this point is 20. It is ticking, right? I will thicken it. So I have measured out 20, right? So there's an height of 25. So from this point here, height of 25. So I'll take my set square, this this way, take it up this way. I'll measure out. So I'll measure out 25 from this point here to this point 25, right? Automatically it's 25. So I'll just take it at this point here. I'll close it up this way, right? That's 25. Next ask is that I will measure out 20. So automatically I have 20 here. If I measure out 20 from this point, 20, as you can see, we have 20 exactly. So just close it up. So close this man here up. As you can see that. So take my set square at this edge point here. I will draw a faint line this way. Come to this down part here. Right? I do not need this line again right this one so let me delete it so i have the tether line so let's just connect this point here this point here down this way right so what's my tax i need to measure out 20 so from here i'll measure out 20 to this point i'll take it it is taken right so next tax is that I will take it this way to touch this line I've drawn, this one, the thick line. So, and I will close it up finally with this. Alright, I will close this part up. Right? So, I will um, consider this. Um, I will take um, this this way. At this point, extend it downward. Right? And I will close it up this way. So similarly, I will take this down with a faint line such that I haven't done this. I will not take my set square this way, taking this line. So, taking this part here. Right? So, we have successfully drawn another box. So, my next task is that, if, as you can see, I set up the screen. At this point here, I will extend the line downward, this point here. I'll extend the line, faint line downward this way. Right? Let me delete this line. I don't need this line. This line is here. Right? Let me delete it. 
All right, I've deleted um, all those unwanted line. So what we did initially was that we elongated this line here, right? So such that the dimension from this point here to somewhere here is given to be 35. So I'll measure of 35 from this point to this point 35. It's ticking, I'm ticking that, right? So I'm ticking that 35. So I will take uh, my set square this way. I will draw a faint line downward this way. So they said the distance from this point here to somewhere here is going to be 5. So I'll measure of 5 with my meter rule. This is 5. Right, I'll take in it. So I will take this with a faint line downward this way. I'm giving a distance of 10. As you can see my arrow indicating 10. So I will take 10 from this point here. This is 10. This way, I'll take in it. Similarly, I will take this man here and close this top, right? And I will finally close this edge point up. So, we have actually what drawn out that figure you're seeing at the right corner of the screen to be this, right? So, my next task will be what the dimensioning, right? So, let's do that. Alright, we have just been replicate what you're seeing at the right corner of the screen to be this. If you have found this class helpful, do not forget to click on the subscribe button and like. Thank you and welcome to WiseLink Academy. Thanks for watching.